I'm now three weeks smoke free. I'm about to be vlogging with someone in the bed right here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, it's still Saturday somewhere, so it must be Josh Day. Um, I slept all day and then woke up at 8 and had to go to pub quiz and then came back and had to clean my apartment because I've got guests. Go ahead and wave, Blair. Y'all remember Blair? Y'all remember Blair, Blair? It's the people from... Hey guys, miss yeah. you. Y'all remember Blair? <laughs> she could not come to LeakyCon, but she's coming to LeakyCon 2011, right, Blair? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um... So, yeah. Um... We'll get to my segment in a minute. Uh, I think the only question this week was Lisa's. What zodiac sign are you and what qualities of it do you exhibit? I'm a Libra. Um, and I think I'm, like, I'm very indecisive, um, which is a Libra quality because the whole iffy thing. I, ever since I was a small child, um, one thing that I've always said when something is unfair is that's not fair! Um, so I think that the, the whole, like, trying to, like, peacekeeper, trying to keep things equal definitely a sign that I exhibit. I don't know what else Libras are accused of being. Libra's considered a masculine sign. <laughs> it's an extrovert sign, so yeah, definitely. Uh, Libra personalities. Margaret Thatcher was a Libra personality. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Catherine Zeta-Jones. Don't we share a birthday? I think I share a birthday with her. Eminem is apparently a Libra. Good lord. That's... Yeah, Lisa's... Libra's... Lisa's. Libra's can be quite indecisive, often taking on too many considerations and procrastinating, making decisions, or acting on them. That is totally me. <laughs> How long did it take me to get registered for LeakyCon? Forever. So, okay, and now on to my segment. Let's see if there's some fancy intro stuff for my segment. That was the fancy intro stuff for my segment. Um, so my choreographer this week um, backed out. She couldn't get the, the dance space and I couldn't get to San Antonio. <laughs> so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the sidebar. Oh, fuck. A link in the sidebar to two other um, videos uh, of the single. Well, I'll put, I'll put three. I'll put the original single ladies link and then the Jonas Brothers link and then the link from Saturday Night Live. So, oh, Addie's gonna kill me because of the tweet deck noise. Um, so let's see. So let's look at the original first. Let me show you exactly why I would love to have actual backup dancers, either in the form of me or um, someone else, you know, whoever. So let's go to timestamp 118. And then kick at 121, because I want that to happen. So, essentially that would be Edna on one side and Farah on the other doing that kick. At 121 in the Single Ladies video. Okay. So let's actually look at the Joe Jonas one, shall we? So that's the second link. And it actually starts at like... Forty seconds. Now, he's not really lip syncing. Now, the suit looks good. He's got great thighs. He doesn't even know the song. I don't care if he doesn't know how to move in heels. You know he chose the black cat suit so that you couldn't see his ass or his junk. Because you really can't. What's that bracelet he's wearing? He's got the punch thing all wrong. He's... No. That's just terrible. Okay, so now if we can find it, let's do the SNL one. So this third link is from... It's a mix of the SNL stuff. See, Andy Sandberg, just never like, and whoever the hell that other guy is, they're actually putting some effort into it. And it looks... It actually looks really great. Now, it segues into the actual video. I was very impressed with these boys, and then of course they grind on Beyonce. Their heels are ugly, their heels are hideous, surely they could have found them some better shoes. Um, but no, I think, see, I think I should take some inspiration from there, because those boys actually kind of rock, especially the, the punching thing. 
Yeah, Joe Jonas can suck it. I uh, love you guys. Wish you guys wish you were here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.